Yo, what up? It's your boy Shady C here. Though a lot of these opinions are Chris's. Um, I wasn't going to do any videos today. Damn it. I wasn't going to do any videos today. Um, the Merry Christmas video I uploaded earlier was actually made a few days ago while I was outside of the movie theater. But um, this has been on my mind. Every time I go into the Jericho Cruise group, the libtards get under my skin. So I wanted to make this video. What is the difference between a liberal and a conservative? Now, and this pains me to say it, because most of my political views are liberal. I agree with them on 90% of the political stuff. What I don't agree with them on is all the fucking SJW, easily offended, politically correct, all that stuff. That's where they really lose me. So I'm coining myself. I am literally <clears throat> a liberal with the common sense of a conservative. That's what I am. Or should I say thick skin of a conservative? One or the other. But no, think about it. <clears throat> These people are so mentally fucked in the head. They couldn't even be around me and have a good time with me because of my political views. I've got many friends that are conservatives. And we're still friends. We're cool. We talk. We hang out. It's not a big deal. Now, not all liberals fit into this category. There are some really cool ones. And not all conservatives fit into the other category either. You know, some people all over the spectrum. But for the most part, if a liberal doesn't agree with you, like, all of a sudden you've become the most hateful person on the planet in their mind. It's a mental disorder, I'm trying to tell you. <clears throat> if you talk to a conservative, at the end of the conversation, eh, you have your opinion, I got mine. It's no big deal. But the liberals are fucked like that, dude. They, 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 they're fucked. If you disagree with them, you've got to be either racist, homophobic, misogynistic, transphobic, xenophobic. One of them or all of them or a, a mix, whatever whatever buzzwords they decide to throw your way. That's what's scary about it. And when I meet SJW wrestling fans, I just want to sit there and interview them and be like, well, okay, how were you able to watch wrestling all these years? I feel like a lot of them must be new. Like, they must only have been watching within the past few months. Like, you gotta remember, like, it's not even okay to sexualize a woman to a liberal. If you're like, oh, you're fucking hot, you know, oh my god, how dare you? But it's okay to do the dick spot, Joy Ryan does. See, it's, it, it's okay to do it to men. I even saw this, like, this psycho liberal chick being interviewed on Fox News by Tucker Carlson. And she said, it's okay for women to sexualize men, but not men to sexualize. See, it's all hypocritical bullshit. That's all it is. I'm trying to help libtards. Come sit with me. Again, I agree with most of you on political issues. If it was just political issues, you'd be right. But you don't know how to do that. The left used to say, this is a very famous phrase by a prominent liberal. I may disagree with what you say, but I'll fight to death for your right to say it. They don't say that no more. Now it's say. Hey, I disagree with what you say, and you don't agree with me. You're a racist, you're homophobic, you're all these other things. That's how it's changed. And what they're too stupid to understand is they're going to keep getting Trump reelected. It might even, it might go past two terms, it might be ten terms. They're seeing this crazy shit, mainstream America, and they're scared for their life. Who wouldn't be? And think about this too. Like, also another thing that they're doing too. Anytime something happens with the illegals. Did you see the kid? They hit a kid. The kid was running for his life. You're okay with abortion. Now you care about kids. See, it's all when it's convenient. It's hypocritical. It's all when it's convenient for you. And another thing, too, is you would think they would kind of, like, get on the parents for putting their kids in harm's way. Think of it this way. If I've got a gun out and I've got it to your head, and you push your kid in between me and you and the gun. Are you going to blame me or the parent who pushed the kid in the way? <gasps> oh, how dare he shoot the kid? No, no, no. The parent kind of pushed him in the way. That's what I'm saying. These liberals are fucking whacked. They, they, they lost all sense of right, wrong, up, down, left, right. Everything is reversed to these people. You can say I'm wrong, but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Argue my points. Tell me how I'm wrong. See, I'm going to have people, oh, you're a fat piece of shit. Oh, you're stupid. Oh, you're this. And then the buzzwords. 
misogynistic, homophobic, blah, 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 blah. But I'm begging you, argue my points. How am I wrong? Think about it. They bitch. The left bitches. Anytime there's like a kid in the middle of gunfire at the border or something. But they never bitch about the parents who put the kid there. Huh? They never bitch about that. It's always, oh my God, horrible border agents doing their job. I'm trying to help the libtards. If you were listening to me go, you know what? I'm not trying to change your political opinions. I agree with you on those. You're right on those. I'm trying to change your mentality, your way of thinking. <coughs> I'm trying to change the snowflake SJW fucking bullshit. And then the one, the one liberal dude in the group called me a bro flake. You realize, literally, you didn't come up with that. That's not the far left word. It's a word about you guys. You're the snowflakes. Taking that and just changing the word a little bit is literally like if I said, you're stupid. And then instead of coming up with a comeback, you go, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Ah, I gotcha. You're stupid. That's not a fucking comeback, you moron. Mm, 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 mm. Trying so hard to educate these poor, poor, poor brainless people. It's not easy. It's not easy. Why have I taken this load on my back? I don't know. Yes, I know, load on my back. I don't know why I'm taking this load on my back. It feels like a fucking load, like someone's fucking dumping their splooge on my back or some shit. Um, but no, one of the funniest things, the way this stall started, is one of the girls in the Jericho Cruise group, I called her a prude. She got her fucking granny panties in a bunch. Her fucking boyfriend was all upset. It's probably because I'm right. He's probably like in the back talking to her going, bitch, why don't you fucking be a little more naughty? Stop being such a prude. And then a couple of the white knights were like, you shouldn't say that about a woman. Hey, the difference between me and a white knight is I truly view me and women as equals. Men and women are equals. White knights like to go, oh no, yeah, we're equal. But then anytime there's any sort of a confrontation, if you get into an argument with a woman, they like to go, actually, you know, they're kind of down here. They can't really defend themselves. I have to defend them. I have to. Ah, blow me. You fucking people don't know shit about shit. But anyways... This is, you know, some of my opinions, some of what I think. Comment down below. If I'm wrong, tell me how I'm wrong. Come on. You won't. It'll be the, it'll be like, oh, no, you're, you're fat. Or, oh, no, you're, you're, you're stupid. Ooh. That's not how you insult somebody, dude. Fucking attack my points if you can. You can't, but let's see if you can try.